All right, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with my friend and testing partner, Natalie Champe. Hi, guys. We are going to be playing a game on PTCGO today with Duskmane Necrozma GX. This is very similar to the list that I was showing off on the channel before. Uh, the tabletop games, I'm, the only difference between this list, I think, and the list that I showed on the deck profile video is that I've replaced the choice bands for fighting fury belts and then I also have taken the third Skyla out for the Mew. So we're just trying things out, see how it goes. It's a pretty fun deck to play at the very least. Definitely enjoyable. It's fun. Yeah. Definitely fun. Uh, it, it's a little bit of like a weird spot. It's better than I thought. It's better than we thought. Yeah. I think I like it more than like Garchomp and Mew. Oh, Mew, great start. Yeah. I think Sweet. I like it more than Garchomp and uh Empoleon. But, you know, just because it's a space lion deck. I mean, what's not to like about that? Right, that's pretty cool. And also the fact that you just take big one-hit knockouts. I'm not playing any field blower in here still, so that is a little rough. But we're going to go ahead and start out with the turn one Bridget. That's great, Sweet. great stuff. Two Magnemites. And do we already have a Remoraid down? Nope. No, so we're going to get the Remoraid too. So cool stuff. And then I actually have like a sick turn two. If my opponent yeah, you just, really do. If my opponent just does not end me or whatever, I'm gonna go in, get Octillery, and then I can Skyla for Rare Candy, and we'll be able to uh, Abyssal Hand my hand up, and then use that second Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball yeah. to get the Magnezone, so that's definitely an awesome oh, yeah. start. yeah, no, you got that, you're keeping those. Oh, for sure. So my opponent looks like they're going for a turn one Bridget. Let's see, I think my mic might be up a little bit loud or something, I don't know. Oh well. Still trying to figure out all this studio stuff here. You see I got a new backdrop. I got that, what, the Japanese, you know, wave painting thing. It's pretty cool. like that a lot. Oh, we're playing against an Empoleon deck. So this is fun. Very cool, very cool. Excited to see what their list ends up looking like because I'm kind of in the process of trying to and build. have 70 HP. Oh yeah, that's the, nice. that's yeah, the that's fat really pip up. So really good. It is really good. I'm trying to, you know, get my own Empoleon list to be as optimal as possible. So interested to see what they got going on here. Now this Vulpix only got 60 hit points, also weak to metal. I could slash that thing, no claw slash that thing, no problem. Looks like they are getting Octillery and Prinblop. So this is fine. Now we're just going to end up Ultra Balling away a bunch of supporters here. I think I Ultra Ball away Guzma the N. Guzma N. Yep, yeah. mm -hmm. that's what I would do. And let's get the Octillery there. And then I'm going to probably, wait, Skyla like... first? No? Or just Abyssal first? Because um... what if I, eh, I don't know. I guess Skyla for Rare Candy. And then uh, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah, let's see how that goes. Skyla for Rare Candy. It's kind, of, kind of iffy. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. No. And then we can Abyssal for two. And this way we're just guaranteed right. Magnezone. So like that's, that's fine. Oh, that's yep. Yeah. So we're just gonna Next ultra turn, ball away one. these and yep, get ourselves Magnezone. And next turn we're ready to rock and roll. I could have, if I wanted to, kept the one energy instead of the uh the sycamore. And then I could have like encountered or done something cute like I don't that. Think you really need to. But that seems like more of a high risk play. Like, what if my opponent gets a knockout on? I've like, encountered my... twice, and I think I lost all those games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like the best play. <laughs> yeah. What if my opponent got like a crazy turn you... where they like, uh, I don't know, goose one knockout my artillery or something. Right. And then, you know, it well, just doesn't seem worth it. What would it. you encounter for? Exactly. Then? It just didn't really. I don't think it mattered. A whole it lot. didn't matter. I think keeping the sycamore is always the safer play there. For sure. So my opponent, this Primplup is actually pretty good. He's kind of like dabbing on top of a mountain. Pretty nice. But uh, he's got that bubble beam, which is actually that's, useful. That's pretty good. Yep, 20 damage. You could paralyze. So I feel like this deck uses that quite a bit just because it's a setup deck. It's a little bit slower to get moving. So they could come in hot with that bubble beam and, uh, you know, just paralyze me and stall me out an extra turn. And if they stall me out a turn, that's one more turn where they get to evolve up all their Empoleons. I'm interested to see how this matchup goes. Looks like they are playing the counter energy. I've noticed some people doing that as hmm. well. Can help speed the deck up a little right. bit. But 
I don't know, speed the deck up. You have to be losing in order to play the counter energy. Like, I get it, though. You know, at the end of the day, it does still count as a basic, you would know, you think, water energy. Would you not play uh, Aqua Patch if you played counter energy? I no. think they are still playing Aqua they're Patch, they're except probably... they're only playing, like, seven or eight waters, so the Aqua yeah. Patches are just less consistent, which to me is, like, if you... Because I've had some questions, like, why aren't I playing Splash in my list, or why aren't I playing counter energy in my list? And it's because I just want the most consistency possible with the... Uh, with the... Um, Aqua patches. patches. Yeah. I just want them as much consistency as I can with the sense. aqua patches. So that, you know, then you shouldn't need counter energy because you just right. are like able to stream your energy appropriately. You know, I guess I see the counter energy, the point of the counter energy. Oh yeah. yeah now my opponent's getting a pretty sick setup here, like not two gonna lie. Artillery. They've got two print flop, two octillery on turn two, so looking pretty good. Definitely, you know, feeling fine about that. Then they're going to go in for another beacon, probably get two Empoleons, and they're off to the races, so they're feeling pretty good about that. I'll start off this turn with an Abyssal Hand, definitely. Yeah. And if you if you hit an N, it'd be pretty solid. Right, I would definitely play it, so let's okay. just see if Here we, we can Abyssal into anything else. And eh, that's fine. We'll just slap down the Mount Coronet, accelerate that energy. I think I just keep the Mew active, yep, and just slash that yeah, with the Mew. thing with the Mew. I could Ultra Ball for something, but I just want to make sure I don't like whiff my energy or anything weird like that. So let's just go ahead and Sycamore. And then I have one energy in the discard pile. Just need to hit one more. And like I said, nice. yep, that's all I hit. So very cool. Let's see. I could put the Fighting Fury Belt onto the Mew, but that you seems... feel like, yeah, you hold it. Yeah, I'm going to hold it. So let's just Magnetic Circuit onto the Mew there. Yep, right there over to the Mew. And then we're going to Mount Coronet as well. Grab that metal out of the discard pile. And we got three, which is just enough. Now, my opponent, uh, they could, I don't know, get something crazy where they get like a Guzma play. Knock out my Magnezone. Yeah, they can knock out my Magnezone. I should probably start like limiting my bench from here on out. Right. I also can use Solgaleo, which probably just want to bench the Solgaleo just because is the math he's relevant? really good. Um, one, two, three. I mean, like, my opponent, say my opponent knocks out the Mew, then they're hitting, what, 100, 200. They play Choice Band. Like, if they want to get a Guzmo on my Dusk Man, they're they getting a Guzmo on my... Can. Yeah. So I, yeah, you feel like you bench that, just in case. And then I probably end up putting... Oh, my hand's, like, actually kind of jammed, so it's a little weird. Yeah. Um, okay. And then I, I think I just will hold on to the Fighting Fury Belt right now. Right. Or I could put it on my Dusk Main just to give him a little bit more hit points in case my opponent does have Guzma. But I'll just I'll just Claw Slash. We're just going to hang right. on to these things and see how that goes. Hopefully we get a Draw Supporter. That would be great. Metal Energy, that's fine too. I can play those down so long as my guy does not get knocked out. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so... Let's see, so long as Magnus doesn't get knocked out. Uh, that would be no, bad. That, yeah. That would be not great. But then I would have to Meteor Tempest something with my Mew. And uh, that... It's not eh, the worst. That's not the worst. You'd be able be to fine. knock out an Empoleon at least. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not horrible. Uh, this attack, Corona Impact, seems actually really oh, good. Yeah, that's really good. For sure. Unfortunately, these Empoleons are weak to uh, lightning. lightning and not uh, metal, which, yeah, I don't know, is... I, oh, Empoleon's not ice. He's water and metal. He's Water, yeah, yeah water so metal. he's not, he wouldn't be weak to, I thought he was ice for a second. But oh, no. Nope. I mean, that would make sense, I guess. He's water metal. I just look at his Piplup. Like, look at him. Right. He's in the snow. Yes. So he's like, and he's a penguin. So, like, penguins love the ice. <laughs> so, like, I could definitely see him being ice type, but my opponent's got choice ban. Oh, do they have Guzma? And Guzma counter energy. That'd be insane. They're doing 230 damage. No, oh, that would be bad. That would be real bad. Uh, they're, they got that. they're waiting too long. I don't know. They're waiting too long. You they're feel like they don't have hand, it. They're playing, they don't have it yet. They're playing their uh -huh. hand down. They're shuffling in. They yeah. got two abyssals to hit it. Yeah, but it so. looks like their hand seems pretty jammed. Yeah, their hand might be you know, kind of jammed. Yeah, they're up. getting two for the first one. Let's see. And then like the odds of that. Unless they get like an ultra ball. If they get an ultra ball, then they can definitely pair that hand down even more. Draw more cards. They promoted the Octillery with the Floatstone. You know, they got a free retreater. They can pivot wherever they want. Let's see what they got. I expect them, they've done two manual attachments so far. I expect them to put another water, oh, just counter energy. Make it Whirlpool. 
Uh, what unnes- would that do? Unnecessary discard, discard. Yeah. Uh, and energy from your bonus active Pokemon. So it's situationally useful. Definitely times where you end up using Whirlpool yeah. for one. For do one. they get the Guzma? That'd be sick. Yeah, that would. Be, I would. I would just be impressed. I wouldn't even right. be mad. I'd be like, wow. They're waiting too long. I don't know. You about got that. it. Yeah. yeah. Usually, if I have the Guzma, I'm like, <laughs> smack it down. <laughs> there it goes. But uh, we'll see. Okay. I, don't know, I feel like my opponent's kind of They're slow rolling. They're going to plan me. B now here. They're, They're slow like, rolling me. What do they got? No, they don't. They don't. Show me what you got. Show me what yeah. you have. All right, they're just going to hit me with the one with the choice band. I don't really agree with hitting me with the one with the choice band. I feel like, yeah, you should save that one. But right. Maybe they have another one? But maybe, no. yeah, I don't really know. Maybe they want to keep the one with the one true water on it. I don't really understand. I don't really know why, though. So, yeah. let's see. Here, we probably not. Go. I could Corona Impact, but I the stadium sticks. I get three, so I have to hit like another energy. Weirdly enough, but like I don't know if I'll be able to hit it. So I think I can't GX because we're both at five prizes. I think I actually. Oh, I can Rescue Stretcher the Mew, so that helps me burn a little bit. I think I promote this I thing. I think you do. And, and then if I radiant star. backup plan would be to Radiant Star. Exactly. So, Oh, and I did get it. So that's good. Oh, I don't have my stadium no, out. Okay, yeah. so that's fine. Let's go ahead and rescue Stretcher. The, yep, we're going to put that Pokemon into my hand. Sure. Okay, I don't necessarily want to, like, load They're my bench up more, but so. I kind of have to, so that's fine. Let's see. I can play down... Th- Four cards. I could I could Guzma and just hope I like draw into two energy. That's an option. I don't know. <laughs> um I say you put both on the active. I think I do Guzma and I promote the Mew. And then I can always Radiant Star still. That's true. So Yeah, no, I like that. I like yeah. that play. So let's bring up the what, an auxiliary or an Empoleon? Um Octillery without the floatstone. It seems like their hand is kinda awkward. I don't know if you really need to bring up an auxiliary. But what if I radiant star and then they can't get this out of the That's active? Yeah. So I think like you know, so I think like this just gives me the most amount. Yeah, you're of, forcing them to goose more floatstone. Right. And what I could give this Solgaleo two hundred hit points. Uh, I think you put that this, on the dust main. Yeah, I think I probably put that on the dusk main just to give that some relevance. Then let's just magnetic circuit these things to the what to the Mew, right? And then yeah. and then I could always Radiant Star with the Mew. Mm-hmm. Sure, why not? That actually just saves my... Or yep. maybe put... Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like fine. That. And then let's Abyssal Hand and just hope we hit, I don't know, some stuff. Nope. <laughs> we, did, we didn't. This is fine. Actually, we just got another Magnezone, though. That's nice. So That's whatever. Nice. And what? I could put another Fury Belt on my Mew. save it. But that doesn't really do anything, yeah. so let's just Radiant Star. And we're going to accelerate these three energies here onto, what, Solgaleo Prism? I think so. I think that it, makes it, the most it, sense. It would feel bad for them to Guzma and knock out a Nani X. Right. Know? So I think I'm going to do that. And that way I'm kind of trying to just jam some non-EX, non-GX Pokemon down. Right now, unfortunately, things have just been awkward. So my board position actually just has like a lot of benched Pokemon right now. Yeah. But I do finally have a supporter as well. So I can actually just play the N. I had a decent shot of hitting, you know, a, a letter or a cornet would have gotten me the knockout on the Octillery off of that Abyssal for three. So I don't, right. like, really feel this, bad about going for the this Guzma This might have like been, even been better, honestly. If, like, they right. don't... If they don't hit the Guzma, you know, they're stuck here. Oh, or, the uh, or the Floatstone. They so. have one Floatstone down on the other Octillery already. I really doubt that they're hitting another one here because these They'd lists are two really at, these at lists are really tight. My list does not have any Floatstones in it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, these lists are really tight, yeah, and they didn't get it. Yep, so I, I thought that that would happen, and sure enough, I was correct. So let's go. Good call there with that. So... Let's play that, and then I think I am just going to Abyssal first for two. And let's see, we got a metal. I think I just have to accelerate it to the Solgaleo just to be safe. Right. Um, even though I don't want to, I think I'd rather, you know, attack with Mew. But if what if I end and don't get a metal, you know? Right. Then I don't get an attack. That seems even worse. That's, yeah, that's so, bad. okay, we, do, we are able to attack with the Mew, and that's definitely the optimal play is just to take the Mew and... That way right. I get another turn right. of and not... it's a beefy Solgaleo. Exactly. So, and I'm not going to bench anything else from like here on out. Right. So 
Uh, we're definitely, let's see, we're professor's letter. I could have probably saved the Mount Cornet. That probably was correct, but it's fine. I don't actually have any energy in the discard pile. So that's, oop, that's the magnetic circuit. I'll throw those two metals onto the Mew. And we are going to Corona Impact this poor little octillery. <laughs> All right, there we go, Corona Impact. Let's get it. So pretty good play there, just getting that artillery stuck, you know, kind of just taking a look at the opponent's board and being like, right. you know, that thing, probably not coming out of the active. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, we, no, you're, you're, I mean, they probably only play that one float stone. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah. If they had two, that'd be pretty impressive. And we knew already that they didn't have Guzman in their hand yeah. because of the turn previous right. where and they, they would have played it. Much. Right. Um, they were two and then one, right, exactly. after two artillery, so. Exactly. This deck, you know, it could definitely jam up a little bit. All right, so, oh, no, there go the my, belts. my belts, both belts. <laughs> That's fine. That's a little annoying, but maybe they get my stadium. Maybe they get my stadium instead. Yeah, they're be, thinking. They are thinking, for sure. So, um, ah, yes, yeah. they leave oh, it on they, the desk they, main. They left it on the, yeah, that is interesting. That is interesting. And like I said, I'm not benching anything else from here on out. So, as the game goes on, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, oh, what do they got? Okay, no, that's so that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, that's a little bit annoying, but oh, lost zone. Yeah, it's going to. The, are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. It's going I want to the lost zone. Something going to the lost zone. Have you seen it on PTCGO no, yet? No, not since like the first version of TCGO when oh, like Harvest of Silver cards was still a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a Total long time. command. Oh, All right. Goodbye. We're getting there. 180 damage, and Where it's going to go, go right up here, right here. <laughs> that's so exciting. Yeah, it's going to go <laughs> right there. All right, so we're going to promote my muse. Got free retreat. And there goes the Galio. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So let's see. I right. can just end. I'm not going to invent anything else. I think no. I end. Yeah. Yeah. End, end well, him to four. Sure. Or I could stick more, and then I just, like, really thin my hand. I'm not really worried about what my opponent does you to me. You have 14 cards left in deck. I don't know. Yeah. How many ends do I have left in deck? Only one. Yep. Yeah, I you probably, probably should end. I'll just end. You don't need anything really this turn? I don't. Um, I already got what I need, so They played, what, fine. one field blower, and they're one, one, one brooklet? Mm -hmm. How many are they down? So let's just go ahead and play that. And then I actually feel like I kind of want to uh, ultra ball these things away and then Abyssal. And just to, like, thin my deck out, yeah. and, like, I don't really want to – I just want to draw, you know, with right. Octillery. And I feel like you load the Dust Main right. early. I think I do too. Just in case they counter that stadium in, like, Enya or something. Right. I don't know. So I am going to load up this Dusk Main here. It doesn't the end won't matter a whole lot with artillery, but just in case it's not gonna be if the, you miss an attack, I could just lose you the game. Right. So it's not gonna be the easiest for them to um respond here. I mean with like a, you know, not like I don't think that they'll be able to get like a one hit knockout on my desk main. Like that would be a no, lot. It's a lot with the Fury Belt still on it still. And you're not gonna be especially in especially if they can't knock it out this turn, they knock out your Mew, you're down to three bench Pokemon. Right. No, so. Yeah, so it's just gonna get harder and harder every turn for them to continue to take knockouts, which is sweet. Um, but then also what's great about having this Mew active too is that they are on an even prize count. So then they'll knock out the Mew, and then I'm just gonna go in with nothing but Dusk Mains at right. the end of the game, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna bench anything else. So then at that point, I'm only going to be having like three bench Pokemon. You know, that's not a lot for them to work with. Right. They'll be on an odd prize count. I'm going to force them to take down two more Duskmane and the Cosmos. Hopefully, I could just draw into the energy I need. Maybe, you know, maybe I should not have. Oh, no, I have a loaded Duskmane. I was going to say, maybe I should yeah. not have like Ultra Ball away the Sycamore there, but I'm fine with it. You don't really need much. You're not going to be even to keep this to game play the going. No. Yeah, you're good. I think I'm okay. So what do they got going on here? They're ultra balling. Maybe they're going for a Lele. If they get Lele and they Guzma, and that's a 1 8 2 10, that's not enough to knock out the Dusk Main unless they also have Field Blower. And these, Seems unlikely. I doubt that they're going to have Field Blower. And they play definitely, wait, look and see the discard real quick. Okay. Let's um, see. So they play, they've got two choice band down. Like, it seems like a lot of stuff going on. A stretcher. Uh, right. The one Brooklyn Hill, the one Field Blower. Yeah, they probably don't have another Field Blower. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, my list doesn't play any Field Blower, I don't think. Right, so, like, no. It doesn't play any Floatstone either. There's not, like, a lot of room in the in the yeah. Empoleon deck. Man, they're slow rolling me. What are they getting yeah. with They probably don't the know. Ultra Ball? They probably don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> okay, don't Lele. Know. Yeah, so... 
Oh, let's see. They're getting a Lele. What are they going to go for? Off of the Lele. I do not know. I do not know. What are they going to get? Probably an N? N? Guzma? N feels seems so pointless. They're probably going to Guzma. Yep. Guzma. All right. Can they take out the Dusk Man? Are they going for it? They'll probably just hit into it. They might be taking out your Artillery. They could take out Artillery. That's, like, fair. I think that's, like, no. no maybe they got the juice. And they're going for a Field Blower. Maybe they play a second one. Maybe. 18 cards in deck. They need to Abyssal into it. If they smack this thing, like, that's annoying, but I think I can just, uh, I'll go up with Mew, and then I'll just mount Cornet and just counter energy. Right. And Not counter energy, uh, I'll GX and just knock them out with the Mew. Right. And then I will force them to knock out the Mew, and then hopefully we could take it from there. I don't there. think they have it. I don't think they do either. I think they just want to hit into it. I think they want to hit into it, too. And they're trying to force you to attack with it. Mm hmm So that's fine. That doesn't really bother me. Definitely cool with that. Um, if they don't get the knockout, which it's not looking like. The deck, no. you know, their deck is working pretty good, though. It's doing everything it's that it wants. <coughs> it's doing everything that it wants to do. Right. You know, it's attacking often, you know, all that. So that's, like, mildly annoying, but it's fine. I think I'm just going to accelerate these two energy onto my Mew here just to get them down onto something else. And then I'm not going to bench another GX yet because yeah. obviously that would allow them to just be able to. Uh, okay, actually, do I just Guzma here? I think I just Guzma. Yeah, if I can lay lay for oh, Guzma, oh yeah, if you Guzma, and then, then, just, then there's no way you lose. I think so. Really, yeah, so I think I just have to. Deck, right? I think. Well, let's hope so. Yep, we oh, got yeah. it. So I think we just Guzma here, knock out a Lele. Then all I have to do is attack one more time. Right. Which with Octillery out, like if they Guzma, let's see, let's promote the Mew. Um, I can't. I can Abyssal for one. If I could knock this out with Abyssal the Mew. Abyssal for one. Yeah, you want yeah, to. Yeah, if I could knock it out with the Mew, that would be insane. So let's just try and do that. Eh, we oh, didn't get there. That's, That's fine. Right. We could just retreat. And we will get there with the Dusk Man. Meteor Tempest, so that way I'm also getting like a huge attack out of that fully loaded um, Duskwing Necrozma. So even if my opponent like field blowers me and knocks out right. the Necrozma, been... I'm still pretty safe. Now they could potentially win the game here, which would be really busted. If they have field blower, field blower and, and Guzma, Guzma and <laughs> doesn't it seem like I doubt they play that. I doubt they have. They it. were they were looking too long. I think in their deck, like I think if they would have had a field blower left, they would have just been like, all right, Guzma, Guzma, right. you know, artillery. Uh -huh. I it seems unlikely. That would be like really busted. <laughs> That'd be cool though. I mean, I would be impressed. I'd be like, all right, you got yeah, me. No. All right, they didn't get it, so that's so you pretty basically good. Have to make sure you draw into that dusk main. Yep, I just um, need to get it. A Skyla should get it for me if I have an Ultra Ball left in deck. No, no I don't have an Ultra Ball. Nope, nope, we are have, out of Ultra um, Balls. Do you have two Dustman left in your deck or one? Uh, I don't know. I didn't check my prizes. All right. It's, 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 it's <laughs> got to be if it's your last prize. It, it should no. be. I should have two, but we'll see. A Sycamore will get me there if I have a Sycamore left in deck. Do I? It, no. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you, right. gotta, you have an end though. You do oh end my on your prize. Goodness. But I end myself to two. I actually I have like one. a pretty decent shot of missing this. As crazy not, as that um, is. Not necessarily. What's uh what's I Magnus just, Zone's attack? Uh Magnus Zone's attack? I can't copy that. Oh that's right. You 130. can only guess basics. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, so I have like a pretty decent shot of missing this off the end of one. I don't know. But I mean we'll see. You have a Skyla left. Yeah. Skyla doesn't really get it for me though. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, let's see what Dude, we got. Did you stretch your left or no? You didn't. You stretched it for the Mew that one turn. I think you? I did, yeah. So, let's see what we got. All right. Rare Candy and a Mag Zone. That's not great. Let's see what we can get off these three cards. And I know there's no Sycamore left in deck. Uh -oh. All right. I don't think any of this really helps. So, I just got to hope. No, and I don't even have N. I think we just lose. I don't know. How many Guzma um, do they have down? Let's see. They have two Guzma down. How many do you think they, they play? They probably play three, mm. if I had to guess. So I say you retreat into... Let's see. I mean, we have to Skyla. Yeah. To just go, like, take a look. Cool Skyla. Letter, Mount Cornet, and... Oh, man, Bridget would have got you there, too. Bridget would have got me there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the Bridget would have got me there. Lele would have... No, Lele wouldn't have got it for me. So let's Skyla. How many energy do I have left in the deck? One. 
I think I, what, Skylar for a Bridget? Yeah, I say you Skylar for Bridget and retreat into, like, at one of your Magna Zones. And just hope they don't have Guzma Guzma. for game. Oh, that sounds rough. All right, alternatively, I mean, if I had Skylar for Letter, would I have actually knocked this thing out? Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, yeah. I would have actually just won if I had gotten the letter. Oh, geez. It actually just used Lele's. So, like, bummer. I wish that I had actually looked at that beforehand. Oh, yeah. I didn't <laughs> okay. even think of that. I'm like, that's the That's game. horrible. Yeah. All right. So, guys, we would have gotten there if I would uh, just taken a little bit more time to count my resources. All right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Oh, my goodness. That is horrible. I can't believe. Oh, no. I should have just gotten the letter. All right. Let's get these two energies out of the discard pile. And I think... Um, we have to what do i encounter no no i retreat probably I into retreat. magnemite no no into, magnezone all right let's just retreat i mean at this point they either have it or they don't so uh, i guess yeah i mean if they they could knock me out with that empoleon just do they have guzma they'll just slam it down so that's a little I'm bit depressing happy. i'm sad that i misplayed Brooklyn. so oh man i can't believe it but that's okay. That was a weird play. It's it was a weird play on TCGO. I just, it is hard to I see because I, I hate going back and forth between the menus. Me so I was just like hoping that I was, it's I mean, like the Empoleon hand- just seemed like it had so much hit points. Right. I was like, there's you no way. You don't have way. to get the uh, energy driver very much. Right. I think this person, their, their hand looks like it's pretty like clunky. Yeah. Like they're trying, they're like thinking hard, putting stuff weird. Like they put the choice band on the Lele. They might not be able to do Abyssal for very much. Um, that or they're like uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes when I'm about to win, I just take as long as possible. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> On oh, my last turn, maybe you shouldn't do that. I just do like I play every. Oh no, nope, nope, they they're adding me. They don't have it. This is fine. Uh, we'll see if we can get them this time, boys. Uh, this time we're not gonna. Oh All right. yeah, Bridget. Oh wait, no, you. Uh, no, they're, they're gonna, gonna knock me out though. They should. Yeah. I actually could be a heads up play for them not to knock me out. They probably. I don't know. They think they're gonna figure that out. Yeah, they could definitely figure that out. Because they don't know if you have a Lele left or not, technically. Let's they know they need to knock you out. Because then they're relying on the Guzma. What if they don't have a Guzma left in deck or something? Yeah, they might not have. They have a lot of other like auxiliary cards in their deck, so they might not right. even have a last Guzma. Right, that's what I mean. So they probably have to knock you out. They probably have zone. to knock me out. In which case, fortunately, now I am like, use my noggin. Definitely can take this final knockout with the Mew using Energy Drive. Right. Should have done that a turn ago, but hey, that's fine. I, I do imagine that my opponent is just going to take this knockout here. And we're going to be able to cruise in for the dub with our Mew, finally. <laughs> finally. Oh, my goodness. What yeah, a game. Yeah, they, com- they bumped your Coronet, though, so you need to get the br- you need to bridge it. We'll be fine. Let's see. Yep. I did bump. I got some uh, energies left in deck too. Yeah. The opponent's deck is setting up wonderfully. I mean, they've got lots of Empoleons in play. They got lots of stuff going on. All right. Here we go. What can we do at this point? I can't GX. Nope. I think I need to Lele first for a supporter, right? Yeah. You need to Lele so, for Bridget, I think. And play the Bridget. Yeah, I think you got to do it. And then just like. Uh, your chances. Let's see. Your chances. So sketchy. One. Two, three. Your chances of drawing the energy you need to win the game are a lot higher than drawing the dust main. Okay, so you're right. So I feel right. like you need to bridge it for the dust main. Right. And that gets a, that gets like two cards out of your deck. It does get like lots more cards out of my deck. Yeah. All right, I can agree with that. Yeah. So let's just go get the dust man. And now and you're doing four. I just need one energy. Right. Off an abyssal for four. And if I don't, I'm gonna be a very sad boy. Alrighty, we oh, got got, pl- got all of them. All right, Literally, y'all, you could energy drive. You could Let, check this out. All um, right, here we go. That's rude. <laughs> it's not rude. This is just it's called <laughs> it's called stunting. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then we're gonna throw all the magnets. This guy, <laughs> if I was this guy, I would have been like concede. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't give you the satisfaction See? of this. No, we want to do it with the dusk man. That's why we're here. All right. This is so unnecessary. No, we're gonna go do it. Here we go, and we're gonna. Yep, hey, go. all right. <laughs> it didn't want to give me the, gra- no, the gratification. No, no, I would've been like, oh yeah, no, no. Bye. But uh, anyway, so that's it. Duskbane Magnazone. It took a little bit longer to get there than I would have liked, it was a weird but play, man. it was a weird play that I I didn't see. But I did see as soon as I got to see my board again. Right. So that's my bad. But you know, I already take too long sometimes on my turn, so I like to speed things up a little bit. But unfortunately comes at the cost of occasionally making misplays. Gonna go ahead and show off the Magnazone deck real quick. And like I said, I 
I don't know if I said this, but uh, you could try putting, instead of maybe like Fury Belts, I've tried like Field Blowers in those spots, but the Fury Belts do help. Field with, Belts are pretty cool. With your math in some areas, and then also just giving your guys 40 more hit points. It's like really yeah, having, good too. having 230 hit points on your Mana Tiger is pretty sweet. Yep, so here is the list as I got it right now. Excited to finally have these guys on PTCGO. Just traded for all those tonight so that was awesome but anyways thank you all for watching the video make sure to check us out on twitter at enjoy friend uh enjoy friend and natakazam um, yep so thank you all for watching the video make sure to like the video sub to the channel peace